Okay, so we're going to um, learn about how to make our laser cut bag tags or name tags. Um, we're going to use this program here called Inkscape, so you need to click and open that. Now it can take a wee while to open, so don't keep clicking because otherwise you'll open it up five or six times. Just be patient. Um, when it opens, it looks like this. Now what I would like you to do is to click on the magnifying glass and then click the plus sign until you have this on the screen so you can just see it a little bit more closely and a little better. We're going to start by making the shape of our bag tag. So for today, I'm just going to make a circle, but there are other shapes that you can make. I'm going to click and drag my circle. Now, at the moment, the last person who used this program has left it so that it's a solid shape. So if you want to change that, you go up to... Um, Object, Fill and Stroke. And you'll see there's a menu down here for Fill and Stroke. So I'm going to say Fill. I don't want that filled with any colour. And now you can see I've got a circle there that's not filled. How do I know it's a circle? If I click on the arrow up here, you'll see there's a width and a height. Now we know that to be a circle, it has to have the same width and the same height. So I'm going to make both of these 500 so that I know I've got an exact circle. The size, the number doesn't really matter. Um, it's not important to, you can sort out sizes when you actually go into the laser cutting software. Now I'm going to drag in another circle because um, I want to have a hole in my key tag and you can see here I've got the same problem again. So I'll just click that there. And I am going to make this circle, you can see they're both about 60. So I'm going to make that 60, and I'm going to make that 60, and that's my circle. Now I want the circle, it's probably a little bit too big actually, I'll just make it a bit smaller, make them both 40. Now I want that circle to be in the middle of my um, key tag, so I'm going to click on the big circle on the outside edge of it, I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard. Now the shift key on these keyboards is the one with the arrow pointing upwards. And I'm going to click on the little circle and I'm just clicking on the line rather than inside the circle. Then I'm going to go up to object, choose a line and distribute. And over here you'll see this menu come up. Just click this and you'll see it centers your um, circle so that it's nice and in, in the middle of your bag tag. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is to add in your name. So if we come over here, you'll see there's the letter A. So we're going to click that, and then we're just going to start typing. Don't panic about where it writes, because we can change that later on. Okay, type in your name. Now, you might want to change the font and the size. So if you just click on it like that until it goes that kind of olivey green colour. And if you come up to this menu and choose text, text and font, you'll see over here that you can scroll through and choose a different font. So find one that you like. Um, I might like this one. And I want to change the size, so I'm going to make it a bit bigger. I'm going to make it 64 and go apply. Okay, and there we go. There's my name. Looks a bit different to what was showing on the screen over there, but I like it better anyway. Um, again, you know how to put it in the middle. Click the outside, hold down shift, click the name, and then just click the center button, and that will make sure that it's in the middle. The next thing you want to do is to add in your picture. So I'm going to go across to Google and I want to put in a picture of, let me think, um, it might be a picture of a cat. Type in cat, go to images. And what we want to do is we want to find images that don't have a background, but we don't want photos either. So we're going to go to Search Tools, we're going to go to Colour, and we're going to choose Transparent. And you'll see that we get ones without backgrounds. 
but unfortunately these types of things here the laser cutter doesn't like very much so we're now going to type in clip art and we get the type of images which the laser cutter likes a little bit better to be honest you're best choosing a silhouette type pattern so a silhouette's like one that's completely black um, so I'm going to choose Uh, I'm not sure how a bat appears on a cat images site, but I'm going to choose uh, this one here. So I just right click, I save that onto my desktop, I come back to Inkscape, and I'm going to go up to File and choose Import. I click on the image and go OK and put it where I would like the image to be. Now, if your image comes in and it's really big or um, you need to change the size of it, then you need to do that by clicking on the corner arrows and you need to hold down the control key and that will keep it all in proportion. Now, at the moment, um, it's a bit hard to understand, but the laser cutter will not recognize that picture. It needs to have it in a special form. So we're going to click on the picture. We're going to go up to Path and choose Trace Bitmap and go OK, and you'll see a new copy of our image comes up, and that's on top. So we'll drag that out to the side, we'll get rid of the one behind it by clicking on it and choosing delete, and we'll put that one back in there, and that is going to be our name tag. Again, if you want to center the cat, click on the cat, hold down shift, click on the circle, and click center, and then everything will be lined up. When you're happy with your bag tag, you can check that it all is how it should be for the laser cutter by going up to view, choosing display mode, and choosing outline. If you see something with a red cross on it, it means you haven't done the picture correctly, but if you see an actual outline of your image, then you have done it correctly. Go back to view and choose normal. Right, to finish it off, press Ctrl A on your keyboard, that selects everything. Go up to ob sorry path and choose object to path. And then you're going to go file, save as. You're going to call it the name of your file, your name. And then you're going to choose from the drop down menu here, you want it to say the desktop cutting plotter DXF file. And you're going to click save. And then you're going to go OK. And then it's ready to go into the laser cutting software. Well done.